G'day. So in today's video, I'm having a look at a MacBook A1502 or a MacBook Air, a MacBook Pro 2015 model. And this one here I've purchased relatively cheap and it suffers the horrible fate with the anti-glare coatings. And I've just been going through trying to figure out what material or what can I do to remove it. So as you can see, it's pretty hideous. This section here I've mainly been trying to work on. It hasn't been too good. This section I've actually had really good results with, which I'll explain that in the end. So to begin with, I tried most of the methods I've been hearing. Coke, no good. Isopropyl alcohol, again, no good. Multi-purpose spray, so like WD-40, no good. Microfiber cloth, not overly great. Went to the extreme level of brake cleaner, which I was curious to see how that would go. Thought I might have actually eaten the screen, but no, no good. Magic erasers, also no good. Funnily enough, the winner of the bunch. Baby wipes. So this absolutely eats it. So I'll just zoom in on the ingredients on here, which I probably won't even bother trying to butcher some of those words. But as you can see, oil, acid, sodium. Yeah, plenty of ingredients. Plenty of good ingredients. So now, this is one section here that I did that took the hard coating off. Took it off within about, I reckon, about five wipes. So watch this here, I'll zoom you in, I'll move the light up to it, get you into focus if I can. There we go. Let's remove this part here. And look at that, gone. Which I'll just keep expanding it. As with most stuff that involves cutting and polishing and buffing, I'd recommend probably going in a circular motion. But on the edges, I've just been going straight up and down. Which it does give it a bit of a dull shine after you go over it. But with these, you could probably almost use maybe up to about five baby wipes and potentially do the whole panel. Which is quite surprising considering the, the substances I've already put on here and how inefficient they were. Yet the thing that I used to wipe my son's ass after he's had a poo is stripping this coating off. Which is quite insane. Uh, I've got a cloth and just try it. It's probably hard to pick up on the camera there. But this section along here is looking really good. So this whole section from about here to here across is pretty much perfect. So I'm going to proceed and do the rest of this, and I'll give you a rough idea on the time frame. So I've been scrubbing this now for about, I would say roughly, be five to ten minutes, which the outcome's mostly okay. At a quick glance, if you were sitting here, it would look perfectly fine. But on the closer inspection, you can still see marks. So there's still a layer of anti layer coating on there but the harder layer has been removed so I can't quite capture it on film just one second I got an idea there we go Let's angle it no, I can't quite capture what I'm referring to, sorry. But I'll give this another clean, probably about another, 
I would say another five minutes, just really lightly. I did also have to go over it with tissue to clean off the residue that was left behind. But then I also went over it with a microfiber cloth of alcohol on this, and it's shining up reasonably well. But there's still like slight patterns I can still see on there. So hopefully, this will end up looking pretty mint. So I'm about done with the screen now. It's not perfect, but it is considerably better than what it previously was. So it's going to be, yeah, it's very hard to see it on, on the on the footage, but uh, there we go. You can kind of see it down here. If I zoom in, hopefully focus remains. So you can see that kind of cloudy look. Granted, it's only when direct light sources are on it, so if I remove it from here, it's gone. I have it on here on the side. Where did it go? There we go. You can kind of see it. Still kind of persistent up the top where I was made with it a little better. If I switch the screen on, the screen itself should be perfectly alright. Uh, you can see it as I'm moving along here. So looking just above here, as I move along you can still see it. So it's not going to make the screen perfect, but it is going to make it look considerably better and without lighting on it, just look black. So anyway, one method I'm very happy to use in the future, baby wipes. Hope that can help fix up your anti-glare issues. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.